In this session, we're going to build some pulley systems to create mechanical advantage to move, or in this case, lift this load. So let's look at some of the components. Up the top, we're going to use this rail as our anchor. Down the bottom is our load. We're going to also refer to this load as the output. We've got a rope that's going to reeve in between the load and the anchor. Now we call each of these sections of rope a part. And eventually that rope ends up in someone's hand, so we're going to call this the haul. We're also going to refer to this as the input. So if this is the input, that's the output. Now you see we've got two pulleys in our system. We've got a what we call a stationary pulley and a travelling pulley. So let's see what this looks like on paper. So we usually draw a box for our load. Some people draw a triangle, it really doesn't matter. We have a rope that comes up, goes through a pulley. That pulley is attached to an anchor. The rope runs back down through our travelling pulley and runs up to our haul. So our load, our anchor, our haul, our stationary pulley, our travelling pulley. Now what we have here is a simple pulley system. In a simple pulley system, all travelling pulleys move at the same speed and in the same direction as the load. Now we want to establish what the mechanical advantage is of our simple pulley system. Now mechanical advantage is a ratio of output to input. So if you remember, that's our output, that's our input. We want to work out what the ratio is between those two. So if we suspend the load, we'll see that the load is being supported by three parts of rope, either directly or through the travelling pulley, which means that the hauler is holding one-third of the load. Or in other words, the input is one-third of the output. So if we said that another way, the output is three times the input. So in this case, we have what we call a three-to-one simple pulley system. So let's look now at the direction of the haul. If we haul directly into a travelling pulley, we need to haul in the direction of travel, straight up. If we haul out to the side, our load's going to go off track and at some stage we're going to lose all of our mechanical advantage. So to get around that, we can run our haul through a change of direction pulley. So when we haul into a change of direction pulley, it gives us more options for the direction of the haul. But the question is, does that change our mechanical advantage? Do we still have a three to one? So if we look at that closely, there's still only three parts of rope that support our load, either directly or through the travelling pulley. So we still have a three to one. But the difference is we're hauling through a change of direction. So we call this a three to one CD. Or some people call it a three to one reeved to disadvantage. So let's have a look at this system. First question, is it simple? Well, our travelling pulley is moving at the same speed and in the same direction as the load, so it must be simple. What's the mechanical advantage? Well, we have two parts supporting the load, so it must be a two to one simple. So if we add our change of direction pulley, we've still got a simple two to one, but it's a two to one CD. Back to this one, it's still a simple. All travelling pulleys moving at the same speed and in the same direction as the load. We've got three parts of rope supporting our load. Simple, three to one. Add our change of direction pulley. Still a simple three to one, but a three to one CD. Next one. All travelling pulleys moving at the same speed and in the same direction as the load. We've got four parts supporting the load, four to one. Add our change of direction pulley, 
Still a four to one, but now it's a four to one CD. Next one, all traveling pulleys moving at the same speed and in the same direction as the load. Five parts supporting the load, five to one. Add our change of direction pulley. Still five parts supporting the load. Still a five to one, but in this case a five to one CD. So if you look closely at these four systems, the systems with the even mechanical advantage, the rope is terminated at the anchor. The systems with the odd mechanical advantage, the rope is terminated on the load. So we use this as a checker when we've done our mechanical advantage calculation. So in summary, a simple pulley system has all travelling pulleys moving at the same speed and in the same direction as the load. To determine the mechanical advantage on a simple pulley system, we just count the number of parts that support the load either directly or through the travelling pulleys. If the rope that you're hauling terminates on the load, it must give us an odd mechanical advantage. If the rope that you were hauling was terminated on the anchor, it would be an even mechanical advantage. So I hope this information has been useful. Thanks for watching.